Much of the world is on alert tonight for an imminent attack on Israel by Iran. President Biden tonight has a simple one-word warning for the Iranians, don't. CBS News has learned the U.S. military is sending additional firepower to the region to increase force protection for American troops that are already there. CBS's Weijia Jiang is at the White House with new reporting. A U.S. official tells CBS News that the size of the planned attack aimed at military targets in Israel has grown in recent days. It could include more than 100 drones, 150 cruise missiles, and even ballistic missiles used for long-range strikes. Tonight, a warning from President Biden to Tehran. Right now. Mr. President, what is Mr. your President. message to Iran in this moment? Don't. Iran has vowed to retaliate blaming Israel for an airstrike that demolished its consulate in the Syrian capital of Damascus. Iranian state media claims 13, including two senior Iranian generals, were killed. A spokesperson for the IDF says Israel is not only on the defensive, but we are also prepared to go on the offensive. We are prepared to strike with a variety of capabilities, he said. Today, the Pentagon's top commander for the Middle East arrived in Israel as preparations continue, and Biden once again pledged the U.S.'s ironclad support. We are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel. We will defend, help defend Israel, and Iran will not succeed. The State Department is warning American diplomats not to travel outside Tel Aviv or Jerusalem, while the U.K. has gone further, advising people to leave Israel if they can. General Frank McKinsey, the former head of Central Command, said an Iranian attack could lead to a broader conflict in the region. If there's a significant mass casualty event inside Israel, then I think the possibility of escalation is very, very high. Tonight, President Biden says he expects Iran to attack Israel sooner rather than later. As for those additional U.S. assets you mentioned, the Pentagon is repositioning a Navy destroyer in the region, joining another warship that is already there. Nora. Weijia Jang at the White House with that new information. Thank you.